Hey you guys, welcome back uh, to the fourth video in our in, um, in our series on the probate process. Today we're going to be talking about the attorney paying the creditors. Alright, so like we said in our previous video, making sure that you get that one year's income is extremely important if your loved one left cash behind because now, guess who gets paid first in the process? That is the creditors. So there's a couple different types of loans, they're secured and unsecured. So let's take a step back and say that your loved one had a mortgage. Let's say they had a property that's worth 100000 They have about $50,000 left uh, owed on the mortgage. Well, in probate, that, pro that actual mortgage is going to transfer from them, from your loved one, to you, the beneficiary. Okay? Again, it's going to transfer from your loved one to you. So you will therefore be responsible for servicing that loan. This is an extremely important point to remember because that means that if everything is like if there's still a loan on it, you have to take care of it. All right. Now, stepping from like, um, moving forward from there, you know, the the secured loans are going to be paid first. Now, what I'll do is I'll do a video on secured versus unsecured loans, but in the short We'll make it short this time. A secured loan is something that has, you know, essentially there's collateral. So a mortgage, if you don't pay back your mortgage, they're going to take your house because your house is collateral. In your car loan, they're going to take your, uh, if you don't pay your car loan, they're going to, you know, re, uh, retrieve your car because that is collateral for the loan. If there's collateral on the loan, then it is a secured loan. Unsecured is different. Unsecured is... Okay, well, you want to open a credit card at a bank, you know, you walk in, say, hey, I need a $500 credit card. Cool, there you go. You know, or they say, let's see, let's look at your income, your income sufficient. Okay, cool, we'll give you a $500 credit card. That is unsecured credit. All right, so in this process, the attorney is going to pay the secured loans first, meaning mortgages, cars, anything that has collateral. He's going to pay all those first from the proceeds of the sale, or uh, from uh, or from the proceeds of probate. Okay, anything that's left over, the debt is coming to you. All right. So now, uh, unsecured could be paid right after that. He actually, like we said in the first video, he advertises or he or she advertises in the paper online to make sure that the creditors know that this one, this person passed, so that they can lay claim to it. Now, if someone comes up with what he, what they believe to be a bogus claim, they can, of course, dismiss it and say, eh, we're not going to pay that, but that company then can file a lawsuit against the attorney to try to retrieve that money. Now, to make this process easier, I'm going to be 100% honest with you for a second. Guys, we buy houses cash, right? Just throwing it out there. So if you guys are going through the probate process, you have a property that has a mortgage on it give us a call. Let us know because we may be able to help you with that in that situation. Um, but I hope this, un this kind of clarifies things. I know we discussed a couple of different topics, um, but making sure that you understand that the, when the attorney's paying creditors, all loans are going to go to you if it's a secured one, like whether, no matter how many beneficiaries there are, um, secured loans that are backed by real estate and um, auto or any collateral are going to be paid next or first the next is unsecured loans um, and then essentially really you guys get what's left over so if you have any other questions in the probate process definitely just let me know um, the next video we're going to be talking about you know i make it's either going to be one or two things we may do secured versus unsecured loans which i think we pretty much covered so we don't need to go there um, well, let's go ahead with the filing the tax return because that's the next step in the probate process. Thanks so much for coming out, guys. Talk to you soon.